Time for our weekly look at the tech stories catching investors' attention. And we start with Vodafone and the company's move into broadband and TV, which tells you a lot about the tough trading conditions faced by established mobile phone companies. Vodafone's earnings report this week showed something interesting that the company is looking at, the idea that they're going to start moving into the home broadband and TV market. That's an incredibly crowded market. We've already seen EE in recent months move in to offer a TV service as well as home broadband packages. It'll be interesting to see what Vodafone can offer against the likes of Sky, Virgin Media, BT, Cable and Wireless, lots of other people already there. Obviously, their hope is that while people are already spending on 4G, they're buying data packages, that they can bundle in an extra service to increase the amount that each customer spends. It's the goal that all these companies have uh, on a monthly basis because the more they can do that, the more they can add to their profit and bottom line. And with perhaps data customers running out or the mobile phone market being saturated and getting to a point where you're just swapping in and out of different contracts depending on what you fancy each year, this could be a way of retaining more customers in the future. Now BlackBerry, which has been struggling to find its old identity. John Chen, CEO of BlackBerry, hopes that he's turned a corner recently by, well, not losing buckets of money each month and sort of coming to some normality. The next phase, he says, in the, in the epic downturn, upturn, whichever way turn you want to see of BlackBerry, is to concentrate on growth and growing profit in particular. To do that, Chen says he's going to stop making lots of different handsets, really only promising one handset in 2015 and allowing the company to concentrate on selling the well handful of handsets they now have. There's probably likely a few more BlackBerry passports, a handset which I don't think works but has sold in small numbers. The Z3, which is their touchscreen device, or the uh, BlackBerry Classic, which is a remake of the Bold, which should be hitting stores soon. Interestingly, the main reason is because he's just being priced out by the Chinese markets. The Xiaomi's, the Huawei's, the ZTE's of this world can make a mobile phone a lot cheaper than he can. In fact, one of the quotes he said was, you know, I, Chinese companies can sell a phone for about 75 bucks. I couldn't even source the parts to make a phone for 75 bucks. Whether this plan will work is going to be interesting. He has tried and tested it elsewhere, and it has worked there, so it might be Things are looking up for BlackBerry in the future. Finally, could a new app save supermarket shoppers money and, more importantly, time? Sainsbury's is trialling a new app in the UK and some of its stores that would allow you to scan the barcodes of products as you put them into your shopping trolley to avoid queues at the end of your shop. The idea is that you'd scan them in, you'd then pay with them with the dedicated app, but also use the app to guide you around the store trying to find uh, different products or special deals. It's an interesting concept and one that ties in quite nicely with some technology we saw from Philips earlier in the year, which basically works as a GPS for indoors, tracking you using the lights around a store. You could see that adding two of the two of them together could really inform Sainsbury's, but also make your life easier when shopping.